Hoya yalan bika al old lady plays. Me vokan kate la biha iloesa septimangos. A Wabani Athletic Story, Season 3, Episode 5, Chauka y Copa Zore. Because that's who we're facing today, Chauka and then the Copa Azore, uh, which will be Talat. And I will be happy to point out to you that Chauka are 15th down here, and Talat are 17th down here, and we are 8th up here. So things have been going relatively well. Um, yeah, never mind these friendlies. They were I, complete rotation sides. I was just trying to get fitness into the guys who don't get to play very much. Um, so it was completely rotated sides, kids, whatever. Just people who needed time to um, get fit. So we were obviously lacking cohesion and, and familiarity and all the other things, and we got not much out of those games. But that's okay. We didn't expect to. Um, you last saw us with Fari and Hamjar. Was it Ham No, Ham was it Fari and Hamjar? But I just showed Hamjar Asgat and Hadria. And then I showed them again. And it, wow. That's a little weird. Why did I do that? Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we had Mufala Maliki, Maliki, I should say. We beat them 2-0. Uh, Lawson with a beautiful goal, and Gerges with a goal a few minutes later. And then um, we moved into the, into the um, what do you call it? Um, the Christmas break friendlies. Which again, I use completely for rotational purposes. I didn't bother putting in anybody who was had been playing regularly. Um, I just wanted to bring up the match fitness of the guys on the bench and some of these guys on the on the long list of players who aren't getting much time. It's a really unfortunate thing about Astrodan is that there is no B team, no <clears throat> no system to send your kids over 23 over 20 i should say to play so it's it's restrictive um and i can certainly see why a league would make that choice it's you know much cheaper and, and allows both you know major teams and small teams to compete but it is uh it is a challenge anyway that's not going to be the team for today surely is it? Um, yeah, maybe it will be. Why not? Actually, you know what? I'll let Tarati play in the cup. And we'll have Alfasi coming back in for this. And I think that'll do. Um, Okoroji and Albert are having a great competition at left back to see who can do more between them they've got six goals and six assists very happy with that um okoroji is creating more than one chance a game Aberg is creating only only 0. 0.7 chances per game which is more than anybody else on the team except um okoroji so including my great um midfielders 0. 0.27 from Poro and uh, Ryan Gold, the other playmaker, 0.52. So, <laughs> hmm, interesting. So, anyway, I'm very happy with how they're playing. Let's get on with the game. I've yammered it up. We have Alfasi, Belarse, Kaleitza, Seri, and Aberg. Timsit, Poirot, and Westergren in the midfield with Hoffman right in front of them. Lawson and Bianchi up front. Lawson has become the scorer du jour because he's bagged six goals and eight starts it makes him a lot better scorer this year than um the bianchi I, unfortunately um and you know what the bianchi I has had some really bad games recently and i'm gonna speak to him about it um 
I'm going to actually be assertive about it. All right, let's see whether we actually get anything out of him on that. Now, he didn't even have a reaction to the thing. Anyway, let's go. All right. We're ready to do this. Um, I, we're saved, yeah, because I just loaded the game up. Hmm. Let's see. What's the weird happening in English? <laughs> Recent one side of the no. token. Eleventh place will win third. Mm, let's go with this one. They've lost three of the last five games. I expect us to pile on the misery. We're at home. I really expect us to get a win out of this. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. A little bit of weather isn't going to bother us. Uh, Syriaco Lawson takes the captain's arm man. I'm sure he'll do a great job. I don't know why. Oh, Garcia's out with the flu or something. No, Garcia's in sporting. That's right. Um, somebody's out. Ovius is out with the flu. That was what it was. <coughs> Tim Zitt steals the ball. Well, gets the ball after it was stolen. Bianchi I receiving stolen goods. Turns and scores. That's how I want you to respond when I have a chat with you about not scoring. That's magical. I am very pleased. Tim Zitt throws it forward to Tilly Bianchi I, who just chew. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, that really was a great goal. I'm hoping we get a little more out of this. We should be able to beat these guys pretty handily. Let's go attack for the last few cent few minutes and then we've got a couple of shots out of it, but nothing else. Um, don't get complacent. Tactics. Let's go back to positive and roll out. We'll pop it up to attacking again with. 10 or 15 minutes to play. Just preserve the legs a little bit between now and then. <clears throat> Hopefully be in a spot where we're more fit than they are with 10 or 15 minutes to go. And uh, yeah, let's have a look after this highlight's dealt with. Good. Uh oh, this tender is never a good start to a play. Okay, got away with it. LRC thumps it upfield. Ugh, still not over. <coughs> Ugh, that's very frustrating. Now we're going attacking for sure. whole play came from one mistake. Alright, let's get some fresh legs out there. Poirot is very tired. Westergren is also very tired, but I think I'd rather have Luis Rucci come in for Lawson. He's proven to be quite the impact sub this year. Um, let's see how those two get on for a few minutes before I see what else might be needed. You can see we're pretty short at right back in terms of fitness. 
nothing out of that one. These off tackles, sure. Oh, I don't think we're going to get anything out of this. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes! The substitute, Ryan Gold, comes on with his fresh legs and powers a shot past the keeper. 2-1 in the late going. Wow. Belarse, back for Ryan Gold, steps into the box, bangs it home. Too much power for the keeper. Gets a hand to it, but can't keep it out. Oh, the Bianchi is in. Makes it two. Just, just to make a little bit of salt in the wound. We'll grab that two goal lead. And, uh, yeah. Think you can hang with us? I don't think you can. Thank you. A good win, boys. Well done. Notice how many of them are extremely delighted, even though I calmly said, Good job, boys. Well done. It's it's all about how they what they're used to from you, right? If I actually light into them, they definitely notice. You wanted to see me. You were superb in front of goal last time. That's what I want to see. Right after we spoke to him about not scoring, he goes out and bags a brace. I like that. Dalic is looking over Kalaitza for his next Croatia squad. All right, so I'll be back in a minute with the next match. We're going to play Talat Tigres in the Copa Azori third round. And I have a pretty strong feeling we should be able to dismiss them. So we could be going to, I think it might even be the quarterfinal next. It would be kind of cool. I'd be okay with that. See you in a minute. Hello, we are back. It's time for the next match, which is Tala Tigres at home. And we're in the Copa Azore third round. I'm looking forward to this match. I think we're going to be in a good shape for it. Uh, Copa Azore. I wanted to just check something quickly here. Round. Winner gets 342k. So, and I was right, the next round is the quarterfinal. So, mm-hmm, this is pretty good. We're looking forward to this possibility. I'd say, let's get on with this. Today's team, Turati, Castilla, Kalaitza, Serre. Actually, I think I want Obis back. Um, or do I? Yes, I do, because I want, I want the better player. There we go. And that'll do. Um, Kalaita Ovis Okoroji, Sushas Gold and Westergren, Hoffman, Lawson and Yankiai get the goal, get the start up front as an attacking trio. And here we go into the game. We are slightly favored. Not heavily, but we are slightly favored. And uh, they are. 18th or something, 16th, 17th, and they're in the relegation zone anyway, um, which is where they thought we were going to be, and we're not. So, hurrah! Um, pick up where you left off last time out. This isn't the same team as last time out. There's a lot of changes. Um, but how about nothing but a win from this match to keep our good run going? Let's try that. Ooh, we got one. Lawson. Okay. We're encouraged attacking play, but we have to be careful too. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, they're a better team than the recent run of form might indicate. I've 
Silence, fine. It's a squad game, I have full faith in these 11. That's fine. He'll, he'll be fine. Karate can make it through the game as a goalkeeper, even if he's not perfectly match sharp. He'll do the job. He's only on 85 or something like that. It's not like he's really off. Nice touch, Lubyankii, as usual, with the first touch to take it round his man. Ah, but tackled in the box. And yes, it's a penalty. I have a feeling it's going to be Castilia to take it. No, Ryan Gold this time, okay. Smashes it home. Nice one there from the Scotsman. As he blasts home his second goal of the season. Castilia, the kid, has actually taken a bunch of um, penalties because it turns out he's quite good at them. Um, despite being like 18 or 19 or something. Um, and, you know, not being the sort of end of end of a right back. So not really the sort of guy you expect to be your penalty taker, but he's been very good. He's had real composure. That's trouble. There you go. The Bianchi with his easiest goal of the season, seventh. That's why you press the goalie. Because 99 times it doesn't work, and the 100th time this happens. Beautiful. And that's why you close down the goalie. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's awfully fun. It's funny that Gold is only on a 6 point, well, 6.8 now, after scoring the penalty, when you'd think, I mean, missing a penalty drops you down hugely. So why doesn't scoring a penalty bring you up hugely? It's because they think you're supposed to score penalties? Um, don't look at the score and think the job is done. We have to pick up where we just left off. Yeah, I think that's a fair thing to say. That works. That works. Let's roll out. Do this second half. Not much in the way of highlights in the first half. Header doesn't get anywhere. Uh oh, that was outside the box. No, 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 no. It was outside the box. Oh, you evil thing. Come on, kid. Oh, he went the right way and everything. Nice try. Nice try. He goes the right way, but he really puts it right inside the post. His first ever talent goal. Jima has made a bunch of mistakes today. That's unusual for him. He's usually quite reliable. Let's see who we got. This again has not been good. Let's bring on Tim Zitz. Hoffman. We'll bring on Poirot, who cannot play there, and swap him for Bull, who can, or Gold, who can. And Lawson is not having a great game. Let's bring on Gargas in his place to see if he can bag a goal and make himself happy, me happy, the team happy, the fans happy, and everybody happy by shooting us into the quarterfinal. That would be nice. Why don't you do that? Nice flick on, but nobody there. Oh, well done, Okoroji. The Gankiai breaks past one man, breaks past the second man, shoots wildly wide. He endangers the corner flag. Hmm. 
we'll go balance for the last two three minutes just to see it out two one nice win all we needed well done lads good win for us no need to complain about the second half it was suboptimal but we got through it hooray we're through to the quarterfinal yay um, and 342k so that's very nice um, press conference blah we got 6k as part of our pool gate receipts and television money for the Copa Azore ooh 6,000 gosh but that does put us you know that's an extra week and a half salary so it's not a bad thing um, we can't complain too much about having gotten an extra week and a half salary out of winning the cup third round um, I think we should take a second peek at the not that that at that and see where we should come back we don't have another Copa Zori match scheduled yet so I don't know when that will be assuming that it doesn't come back any other time we'll come back for Manusa and Aswajan Maliki after the transfer window so that'll be the plan we'll come back on the 2nd of February right after the transfer window closes so we can see if anything happened I'm not anticipating much um, other than you know an unexpected exit because somebody takes the hump over something or I don't know what but it's um yeah it's fine we'll come back for those games um i need to go this way and then this way and then this way and then say i hope that you've enjoyed the episode thank you very much for watching i appreciate your time and i know that you've been around for long enough to know that you know what to do so i'm not going to tell you Although he'd just sort of kind of tell you all anyway. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can find me on the FM Creators Discord as well as the Dictate the Game Discord now. And um, I also, of course, write for Dictate the Game. I've been working on a uh, league guide for Aswajan. So I've done the first two segments, which are the, the first two parts of the Liga Duke, and I'll be working on Liga Principale next, which will include a review of Wobani Athletic, because of course they start in the Principale. So anyway, thought you might be interested in that. I hope that you have a great day, and take care.